quick unboxing video of the MJJC Foam Cannon S version 3.0. Opening up the box here, we're gonna have some uh, styrofoam. We're gonna have a little uh, user manual here. It says to keep the water temperature not higher than 60 uh, Celsius, which in America, that's 140 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna have your, uh, your bottle here. Okay, it's pretty nice, nice wide mouth. Probably uh, made of polycarbonate, so if you ever drop that, it's not gonna break. And then right here, you've got your, your lid uh, for the uh, container, as well as including some bits and bobs here. Uh, you got a little hose to go connect, which is nice about this. There's a little, nice little steel ball, so no matter how you orient this, uh, the suck-up tube will always be at the lowest point in the container. That's all for the box. Moving on to the manual here. You can open this up. Okay. And here to show some like instructions on how to uh, use this. So what I'm gonna do right now is go assemble all of this and we're gonna move on to the test. All right, let's go ahead and assemble this. What I already like about this is this nice all brass fitting. Uh, you can see here, this is gonna adjust your fan or like direct pattern. Um, and this has a nice uh, quick connect. So this is probably only a one eighth turn. Everything in here seems to be like, like a nice durometer uh, rubber or like plastic. And you can see the, uh, the threads, nice wide mouth opening. This is polycarb, so check this out. On, off. I like that a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and attach this uh, power washer adapter. We'll just hand snug that down. We also include uh, two O-rings that are gonna go uh, inside of here in case they go bad. After that, we're gonna take our little tube and we're gonna go attach it to the bottom of this. Over here, okay. That's gonna be our pickup tube for all of our soap. All right. Check it out. There's a little hole on the uh, on the bottom of that right there for the pickup. So we'll go ahead and put this inside. Turn that. Look at that, it even stands up on its own. We love that. Um, let's go test it out. Now, obviously, I had to do a quick comparison against my uh, my MTM over here. This has been like the industry leader in foam cannons. What I don't like about this now is that this has a very narrow fill neck. This has a very wide fill neck. Watch how easy this is to pull off. Done. Okay. You're going to see how many turns it takes me of this. Okay. You're not the end of the world, but when you're, when you're talking about speed, not only that, these threads here, are, it's this like kind of like cheap plastic. Um, and it's not that uh, polycarbonate material that you get on the uh, MJJC uh, foam cam. So check it out once again. You got this nice steel ball. Turn that on. So following the instructions on the box, it says to fill the tank bottle with 900 milliliters of water, followed by 100 milliliters of snow foam shampoo detergent. What's nice about this is that they show you 900 milliliters on here. So you fill all this with hot water and your last 100 mils is gonna be a nice little line right there. So let's go do that right now. So I keep uh, my soap here in bulk. I've got some five gallon uh, containers in my basement, but 900 milliliters of water. And now we're gonna fill this up the last 100 milliliters with soap. That's right there. Great. Let's get put this in. I just really love this quick turn fitting, um, this is adjusting on top here, you know, how much air and foam you're gonna want. And let's give this thing a rip. I should note that uh, powering our test today is gonna be my Krenzla uh, total stop. What I love about this is that it is extremely quiet and it starts and stops by itself. All right, so we've got the uh, fatty recommended settings on the dilution here. Let's see how it works. Bring you guys in closer. 
check that out. I am actually extremely impressed with how little soap this is using and how much uh, suds we are getting out of this. Uh, compared to my MTM, I don't think I would be getting that performance right now. So what I actually want to do real quick is uh, put this down here, angle my camera up. And what I want to do is just spray this off and show you guys again. And look at that. I can see how much is left. This isn't a very like sudsy little mixture. And I'm actually, I'm actually very impressed. I think I'm going to go and swap out uh, my MTM for this guy. So using the, uh, the recommended uh, dilution on the MJJC uh, box, we're gonna go uh, 900 milliliters of water to 100 milliliters of soap, and let's we'll see how, how it performs. Naturally, so far, very impressed with how little product this foam cleaner requires to the output of foam. Um, that you can see here. So let me go bring you in and just, guys, and this really is, there's there's no movie magic here. <laughs> I mean, I've seen a lot of videos online where I'm like, oh, they just put like all soap in the, in the foam can just to sell a product. But you saw my dilution that I did on this thing. And this is extremely impressive. All right, so final thoughts on the MJJC Foam Cannon version 3.0. Things that I like about it, I love that when you go to uh, turn the uh, fan uh, you know, angle adjustment, your setting stays. When you go to make it a wide pattern or a narrow pattern, your setting also stays. On the MTM, if you kind of like just blew on this, it would just change your setting on you. I love the quarter turn uh, cap off, quarter turn cap on. I also the fact that that this hose is kind of like uh, rubbery and like limp so that this ball bearing it goes to any of uh, the bottom section of the uh, container whenever possible versus the MTM it's got a, a hard nylon hose where if you do angle it at, at the right angle it will just suck air um, all your stock pressure washer fittings come good to go uh, uh, this comes with spare o-rings and I love that you can see how much fluid you have left Additionally, I love the graduated marks on here from 100 milliliters up to one liter. You fill up your water to 900 milliliters. You fill the last 100 milliliters with soap and you're pretty much good to go. What I love about this as well is that this is a polycarbonate shell. So if you go to drop it, it's not gonna crack versus like the other uh, MTM, it seems a little more brittle. Uh, these threads are not gonna get uh, chewed up. This is a really nice material in here, brass construction. Uh, it's not gonna rust, it's not gonna fade out. So yeah, I actually bought this to kind of see what all the buzz was about and I'm not gonna lie to you, I am throwing out my MTM Hydro and replacing it with the MJJC version 3.0. If you wanna buy this as well, there's a link in the description below if you wanna buy it through me, amazing, and if not, no worries at all. And I will see you in the next video.